Hey guys, I wanted to give you a run through of uh, my cost of production calculator. Uh, here's how I use it, and I'm just going to tell you as much as I can uh, about the functionality of it. I built this for myself um, over the course of probably 10 years, um, just tweaking it, and um, I never really meant for this to be a product. Um, so bear with me and I'll explain how it works. Uh, up here you have your break, blank garment cost. Um, I'm gonna put uh, 345 in here. And let's say the quantity is, let's say 47 pieces. Um, there's a front and a back, so we're gonna leave that. Two print locations. Let's say, eh, let's change it to one print location, uh, three color front, and nothing on the back. Um, what you'll notice is that this price changes here, but that these prices stay the same. This is only based on uh, this number and your cost. Um, so if we have a $5 garment, it'll update this and you can, this is for when, um, your customer doesn't know their quantities, but they know what garment they want to use. Um, so you're going to have a variety of different scenarios, um, customer knowing their quantity, but not the garment, uh, stuff like that. Um, and so this is just helpful with different scenarios. You can copy paste this in the future. Um, there will be another table over here. Um, that will give you another scenario, uh, which would be um, if they knew the print and the print locations, but not the quantity, it would give you just a quantity breaks table here. Uh, haven't got that far yet, but that's something I've noticed is a problem as I use it, um, or could be an improvement, I should say. So, uh, moving right along, uh, also notice that this is, this is, this is based on price breaks here and this is not. So, um, if you go to 48 pieces, notice the price just slowly goes down there. Uh, this is a granular model of pricing. Um, whereas this pulls from these specific numbers, um, and gives you kind of like a, not necessarily a price break, but just a point of reference. Um, it's the same math. Uh, it's just you know, at 12 pieces. Um, so this confused a couple of people. Um, this, you just put the price of the plus sizes in here. So if it's 554 for 2x, 654, 754, something like that. Then you're gonna get all of your plus size up charges. Um, and so you can kind of tack these onto your email if uh, just so your customer knows. Plus size just costs more. And that's just based on the difference between these two numbers and it makes it marginal. So, um, so that you're making the same profit off of plus sizes as you are off of small through XL. This is the price calculator section. It's all based off of this cost calculator that creates these section totals, which creates these cost matrices. And these cost matrices influence these price matri matrices and this, uh, this calculator here. So let me show you how it works. Let's say you're, you have, you get a better price on uh, transparency ink or inkjet printer ink for printing transparencies than me. Let's say you know that you get um, a thousand liter, milliliters or a liter 
for a hundred dollars much better ink price than me um, that's going to influence this math problem here which is just pointing to these uh, it's going to influence this number here which is just the sum of all of these and which is going to influence these, which add up a few sections. Um, and then it's going to influence your overall cost breakdown. And your price. So it's going to all happen in, in live time. So watch what happens as I make these changes. Um, it'll actually change everything here. So if you get a better price on something, or if you're trying to um, look into the actual effect of, of getting a nicer material or a better screen tape or something like that, you can make those changes in real time and, and look at how that would affect um, a price based on strictly margin. Um, so I'm gonna put that back where it was. Um, let's talk about adding in a new and a new cost. Um, there's not a lot of, in this section, material cost per job. This would be like, you know, you could put uh, printing a work order in here. Something that's, you know, a one-off cost per job. Uh, you could throw a paper clip in here. Um, but let's say you want to give away a bag of candy for every job as a thank you. Um, so we would go in here and we would add a row. Um, just we'll make a note as to what units we're talking about. Uh, and so let's say you're giving away 10 pieces of candy. Um, let's do 15. 15 pieces of candy for 10 cents each. Um, and what we would need to do is come in here and make a little math problem. So equals 15 pieces of candy times 10 cents per piece of candy. So now we have an extra buck 50 here. Um, then what we need to do is add it into this, this total of this section here. So all we do would be to Add, oops, add that cell there, boom. All right, so now if we change the quantity of candy, um, it will change this number here, which will change one of these numbers here. Uh, this one particularly, uh, it will influence these cost tables, which will influence these prices that are based on your margin. And it will influence this equation as well. Um, I hope this helps. Let me know if you have any questions. Uh, that should get you started playing with this. Um, it's really pretty intuitive once you get in there. Um, and don't worry about breaking it. We can always send you a clean file if, uh, if something gets messed up. So thank you guys so much. Uh, we'll talk soon.